Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I have for you a extra video this week. I went um, to the Dollar Tree. Ooh, did I show the other one? Yeah, I think I did. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree on, when did I go? Friday. No. Let me think. When did I go? Thursday, no, Thursday should call me. Yeah, Friday. Friday, my aunt needed a ride. And um, so I had brought her and we had a little extra time. So we stopped at the Dollar Tree. And I picked up my couple items I needed. And again, a few more items. You never get just what you need and what you're going for. So at the register, she wanted to pay for my items. I think I had, what did I have? Maybe 10 items. But it was really kind of her to do that for me. So being that I got those for free, I figured, hmm, I should go um, and take my $20 that I had figuring I was going to spend on Friday. So on Saturday morning when my daughter was at ballet, it's just around the corner, like even closer than my house to the Dollar Tree that I always go to. Um, so while she was at ballet, it gives me an hour to, um, probably takes me like five minutes driving time to get there. So, you know, with traffic, depending Saturday mornings are kind of busy down over there. So, um, I went to spend my money. Um, I know I can always buy stuff. I'm still looking for stuff for my daughter's birthday in April. She's doing the frozen. Um, so I want to get the snowflakes and the icicles and there was these, um, cute snowflake dishes in the white and the blue that I was going to get another day, like the last time I went, last week, but I had to, re you know, put them away because I found the washi tape. So if you saw that haul, those were ones that I had to put back. So I knew I wanted to go and get those before they sold out um, and not have to go searching all the Dollar Trees for them. So... I knew I could get a few more items because on Friday I just grabbed a couple things. The frames that I really wanted um, for the current pitches, my daughter and son's school pitches that I wanted up in my bedroom on my nightstand, some small ones, and then some 5x7s for their football and cheerleading picture for in the living room. So I had gotten those Friday and my aunt paid for them with a few other items. Um, and I'm trying to think, did I... Is that what's over here? No. I'm trying to think if I recorded that haul. I might have, and that might already be up. <laughs> I go too many times I can't remember. Okay, so I have four bags, just a few items, under $20, I believe it was. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so my first two items, that's in bag number one, is those snowflake dishes. Um, I know I've, I've seen, I haven't started researching fully on her birthday, which I'm not going to do until probably January, February. Um, stop making my own board on my Pinterest and getting ideas. But I have seen it where they do the white and the blue. More toe is the light blue. But I figured with this, this is still cute. So for $1 each, I got these to put, you know, whatever we decide um, to eat. There'll be something, whether it's, you know, little sandwiches or something. I could put parchment paper down and put anything in there. Love those. Little baskets. Bag number two. I was hoping for the salted caramel ones that I did see at the other big Dollar Tree, but they only had these, which I love too. The pecan chocolate chips. Kind of like a staple when I'm looking to get some snacks. I grab these. And I haven't had them yet, surprisingly. It's Sunday afternoon. And I had been wanting to get this, gosh, for quite some time. Probably at least six months. From last year when I did the coffee, um, the caring, my husband got March of 2014 for his birthday from my parents. And I made a little coffee area on my counter that I believe is up on one of my videos. Um mm -hmm of a, you know, a, a tour of the, the home. And I did one of these for the sugar. I like tea. So I do a little thing of tea. And I did rearrange my tea packets. I had it in this cute little tin, but it was kind of oval shaped. So it wasn't the perfect size for it. So I grabbed one of the 
acrylic ones from Dollar Tree that are in the rectangle. And I'm able to put the um, tea bags in the other packages and then out of the box. And I have some honey sticks and then I have my honey little teddy bear in that little area. So in front of it, I have one of these with the sugar. I had another small container because I had purchased that at the time. I couldn't find these back probably in the springtime this year when I tried looking for another one um, with the mini marshmallows for when we have hot chocolate. Um, all last winter, uh, I did have the Keurig. I love the salted caramel ones. But I wanted to get this size because the one I have with marshmallows is that little one. It's clear, kind of more squarish, and it's got that silver top. So I wanted this, it's a little bit bigger in size, and to match. I think symmetry looks nice in something like that, you know, things up on the wall. So I grabbed another one of these to put the marshmallows in. Can't wait to go do that. Bag number three. Actually, I'll leave that for the end. Let's do this one. What's in here? Oh, yeah. So this is glitter stuff. First off, I grabbed this package, which has got glitter all over the package from the other items. This is the um, 10 count of the snowflake ornaments. So as you know, that's for my daughter's birthday. Frozen, frozen. And I'm gonna just keep it right in here. And then I got these and I hadn't seen these. But you know, each time I try not to look too hard, just kind of grab a few things. So this has got five of these white with glitter twists there. Um, and I think that'll be cute. They're kind of like an icicle effect for the frozen birthday. So I could go get another one of these. So I want to have it kind of looking the same. So like if I put these five in the living room amongst the snowflakes, I want to have the same icicles on the other side in the kitchen. All right. And these are just gorgeous. I've been seeing a few of you guys pull them. One of my good friends that I really like a lot on YouTube, wow, is um, Cheap Crafty Girl. And she made a really cute, and I will think I'll link her page below, um, and I'm going to recreate it for my Christmas decor. Um, she's doing plaid week this, this week. She loves plaid. But what she did is she took a picture frame, and again, you just get them from Dollar Tree. You put a pretty, she did plaid scrapbook page. And then you glue one of these in the center. And oh my goodness, they're beautiful. So she had two of them that she's going to put like, you know, near each other. And I thought I wanted to do either two, maybe a gold and a red, or I might even do four. Um, I have products to do two right now, but I'm not putting up Christmas until the weekend right after Thanksgiving. So I have time to get my two more and decide where I would put them if I have space for two, do I have space for four, and go from there. If not, I'll add the other two to the, the tree, which will like kind of be nice to have that, you know, look on the wall and on the tree. Really cute. And what I'm going to do is I have right here behind me over here, um, under my background on my crafting space, I have the clear, um, spray so that glitter will stay on. Whenever I do my glittering of items, I spray it and it really does hold the glitter a whole lot better. All right, bag four and final bag. It has a few goodies in here. First, I had gotten these, um, you know, a few weeks ago and I thought they were these and they're not the exact ones. They are the same ones, the Intimate Wipes I've heard about. And I had heard how they come individually in a little package. These are two of them. And you can put them in your purse and it kind of, you know, not so nonchalantly if you need a wipe when you're out at a store or whatever. So I really had wanted these. But I had grabbed the package that, you know, you wanted me to leave at home in your bathroom. So I had grabbed that and I just the other day, it must have been less than a week ago, and I haven't even used it. No, maybe it's been a few weeks. I had put that in my purse, and I haven't used it. So now I'm going to put these, a few of these in my purse, and then I'm going to start using the other ones. And I'll let you know how they are. I heard they're pretty good. Okay, then I got the 8x10s, and they come in a black and a, like a cherry wood color. This one has a little black, a little of the cherry wood, and then the gold 
trimming, if you can see that. I like that gold effect, and I didn't want all black, because I don't do black. Mainly, I'll do white, the, the you know, the wood color, the darker wood. Um, I don't like the light wood, even though the kitchen cabinets are the little light wood that my parents had liked. So, I try not to, I try to stay away from the black frames, but I figured these won't be so bad with the gold, and they do have mostly the brown. So, these I'm going to take some scrapbooking paper um, and put it in front of the glass. And then you still put the glass, I believe, back behind it and the, you know, the, the cardboard so you can hang it. And then you glue your little reindeer. You can put any other Christmas item or ornaments or, you know, a felt piece that you might find. And it's really cute. So I'm hoping I could do at least two and maybe four, have like a four kind of a look on the wall. Maybe down here if I wanted to jazz up for Christmas. We'll see. And only a dollar a piece. You can't beat it. Um, let's see what else. I grabbed a... What are these called? They're Renewsits. I have some. I have two more left in the cabinet, but they're more for Christmas, and I'm not ready to do Christmas yet. So I got the Sweet Melon. Oh, it smells really good. So we're almost empty with the one that's out now. So I'll be putting this bad boy up soon. Um, and I've been wanting to find these. I think they must have just did the load this weekend. I think it's Sunday or Monday. The truck comes. And they had them. Finally, the Earwicks. And that is such a good deal for a dollar. And we need it at the trash. And we need it at my cat litter box. So that's where they're going. And I will grab more hopefully this coming week. Because that's such a good deal. This is... Sparkling citrus, and that's all I had. There. No, no, I'm lying. They had lavender, and I don't care for lavender smell. I'd rather have a citrus. Also, I was just, you know, I rummaged through the planners, planner stuff, the stationery aisle, and when I see these, my eye catches them. There was one package. I saw none of others. I saw all those, the filing ones. But mixed with it right on top was this. And I was like, ah! And right now I'm pretty good. I actually need a bin for like six or seven more that I've filled up with stickers. But now they're just sitting on the floor. But to have extra for whether they break. Because you stuff them too much of my stickers. But, um, or if I just start getting new stickers that don't have a theme. I have some more. But one dollar for two of them. Love them. Love them. Um, I, I've been looking at the chapsticks. We have them. They're always at the end cap of the, um, the aisle with the baby items. And I'm like, that's like my last thing. If I could spend more money and I don't know what else to get. But I, I haven't been like that yet because there's always items right now I need. Like Christmas items and the stuff for my daughter's birthday. But this time I was like, you know what? Let me grab it and I think I'm going to try and remember where I hide it. For my daughter's stocking stuffer. She loves stuff. Birthday cake. Like that's her thing. Cupcake. Birthday cake. And she'll, she'll be six in April. So she's at the point. She loves all this makeup. And nail polish. But you totally can't let her just have it in a room. But. Maybe by April at six years old. So if we give it to her for Christmas. Or hold it for her birthday. But probably Christmas. It'll be in her stocking. I thought that would be cute. And my last item, which to me is like, ah, I was so excited. I have not seen anybody haul these. And I have a few of you that I watch that do Dollar Tree's hauls. Excuse me. <laughs> Probably around 8 to 10 different people. O-M-G. Um, it comes, mine was in the aisle with the food. Alright. And it came in the package. With this blue tag. And it's a goldfish snack tainer. Oh, it's it's awesome. And I, I couldn't figure out at first how it opens. And it opens over here. Look at that. Love it. I was like, and it's funny because stick around. When are we doing it? In two more weeks, we're doing on the weekend. It'll be posted on the Monday following that weekend. Um, so that'll be the weekend before Thanksgiving. 
will be my goldfish challenge. That's our next challenge. So it's a little sneak peek of what we're doing. Um, so I have right now that I just bought on Thursday five different flavors of goldfish. This coming Thursday I'll be buying five more. So we're going to have ten bags of goldfish and for the challenge you don't eat too many. I'll give them probably two or three to kind of test out if they don't know what it is and I'll be putting different ones in here each week and when we go somewhere my kids say oh I'm hungry whether it's at church and they can have a little bit um, or out and about or even for a mommy because some of those like I really don't care for the regular ones but these other ones that are new like what was it we had bought a few months back? Birthday one? Birthday cake? Oh my God. So I'm making sure I grab that one. There's a good fudge brownie. Um, there's even the pretzel ones I think I just grabbed this week. Isn't that adorable? So I'm almost thinking this is the one that's close to me in my mother's house. Six, seven minute drive. I'm like seriously, I think either tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm trying to think which day I'm going to be headed that way. I'm stopping and only had maybe five or six left. So I don't know. But me and my aunt want to go now soon. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this week. I'm trying to sell some items. Um, and that's how I like to say, okay, now I can go and do a big haul at Dollar Tree. I really want to do it soon in the next week or two so that I can go and get all this Christmas stuff. Like I want to get some stuff like all those signs and there's those really pretty bags that I want to get. Four bags, but really to really just make for decor on the wall. I think I might buy more frames and frame some of those for Christmas, even though I have like no wall space. Because um, I really don't like taking down my current pictures of all my children just to put up Christmas decor. I know it's for just a month, but it's only 12 months in a year, and I, you know, you pay so much for these pictures of your children, and I love looking at them, so I really don't want to take them down. Um, so we have to figure it out um, for this house. I know in a few years when we move, we definitely are going bigger so that um, we need more wall space and more space. The room's not very big here. so. But anyway, that completes my awesome Dollar Tree haul. So the best, my favorite item, my goldfish knock -um. He is so cute. And I have a pretty big enough purse. I just cleaned it out this morning. I am going to stick him in there. Um, I'll probably have to wait a couple weeks, though, until we do our goldfish challenge so I don't open it and have him go stale. And they'll want to start snacking on them, and I don't want them to know any new flavors that they don't already know. That'll be more fun. So stick around for the goldfish challenge. Um, that's a video that you don't see me which is kind of nice. It's the family, my three children, and my husband, and they love them. They really do. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my little Dollar Tree haul. This is going to go up today, I think. Once I'm done, I'll go edit this, and I will see you tomorrow on my Monday video. Um, so, until next time, don't forget, give it a thumbs up. We love that Dollar Tree. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, we love Dollar Tree over here at Glitter DIY Diva. And give it a share. Share it to all your friends. That would make me so happy that you can spread the love of Glitter DIY Diva and all my fun Dollar Tree hauls and um, challenges and DIYs. We love to do that here. So, again, don't forget. Enjoy that glitter.